Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally my makeup inventory for 2022. I don't have a, another inventory to compare this one with, so you won't see like any reduction or addition in my totals, but I will be using this going forward as like a check-in. So maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll do another check-in this year or if I'll only do these yearly who knows but the purpose of this video <laughs> was to give myself a wake-up call I have a lot of makeup which you will see and but some categories are out of control some of them are I feel normal <laughs> for someone that makes like beauty content and then other ones I would definitely like to reduce them so yeah you'll just see so I filmed this over like two weeks it took me forever because I took everything out and like laid it down except for my eyeshadow palettes so I was not about to do that so enough rambling let me just show you my makeup inventory okay guys so this is my <laughs> primer collection I have 25 primers yeah but as you can see the top row th those are all like deluxe samples like slash travel size so I guess it's not that bad <laughs> it's still pretty bad though but I have used all of these except for I think three and that's this one here, oh, it's not going to focus if I point. Um, the Bosha one, this black one here, uh, this one, the Becca, the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. I actually, I might have used that once, but I don't remember really much about it. Um, and this one, this was like a point perk. From Sephora, the say uh, there's no name on it, but this one that is supposed to be kind of like a highlighter, but really it's a primer kind of thing. So I have that. Yeah, but everything else I've used, and I have one duplicate. This one is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, and I have. The mini size of that and usually I don't keep duplicates but I really like that primer and I think I'll just use both of them up since I already have quite a bit of use on this one but yeah so those are my 25 primers I won't go through each one because this is not like a collection video it's really my makeup inventory just so I have the numbers on that but um, I will say this one, the VDL, is currently in my Shop My Stash. So that's one I've been using quite a lot lately. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the ones in my new makeup drawer. Let me just check that for a second. Okay, I did have another full-size primer in my new makeup drawer. <laughs> the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm actually really intrigued by this because it's supposedly to moisturize and replenish and I have very dry skin so this sounds really good but there is another <laughs> full size so I have 26 primers which is a lot but yeah like I said I've used all of them except for like three of those mini ones and this one here, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, that's what it is. That is almost done. And the Bobbi Brown Face Base next to it has a lot of use because it was in my project pan last year. I just didn't get around to finishing it. So yeah. Oh, and this little Makeup Forever HD that doesn't even exist anymore. That's also in my Shop My Stash. But I haven't really reached for it, so yeah, there's a lot here, but let's move on <laughs> to 
foundation. Okay, so here are my foundations. I just wanted to mention, <laughs> I found another primer. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is in my primer category because I'm gonna use it as a primer. Um, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, so it was in my new makeup drawer and I forgot about it. So I actually have 27 <laughs> primers. And I wanted to mention before I show you these, I'm this is another foundation, my VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation, but I'm giving this to my mom tomorrow, so I'm taking it out of my numbers. But just so you know, because um, this is the foundation that was in my Shop My Stash. So if you're wondering what happened to it, I'm giving it to my mom because it I just can't make it work for my preferences. So she's going to see if she likes it. So this is my what I have. I have 17, I think. No, I have 16. 16 foundations. The two on top are Makeup Forever um, Velvet Skin. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The Matte Velvet Skin. It's the same, but I have two different shades. I have Y215 and R220. So this is a more like pink undertone. And the other one's yellow. I'm not even sure because I don't use it often enough. I'm not sure which one I prefer. So I just always have two <laughs> until I figure it out, I guess. Um, but my cousin was kind enough to gift those to me uh, because she used to work at Makeup Forever. So that's why I have two. Um, this Tristique, that's my only foundation stick. I haven't tried it yet. As you can see, it's still in the box. Next to it, my Tarte Empowered something foundation. It's been discontinued, um, but it was in my Project Pan last year, so it has pretty good use on it. Um, well, I don't know. There's probably still more than half left, but um, that's one I want to get out of my collection because it's my oldest foundation. Um, the rest are, I've tried them before. This is probably my second oldest, the Makeup Forever Water Blend, which doesn't exist anymore, but I really love that foundation. It's a bit light for me. I think it's also R220. No, this is actually R210. So it's pretty light, but I just love this one. But I can only really wear it like in the winter. And then you might wonder why my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow is in this category, but it's because I wear it by itself. I'm actually wearing it right now because it's in my deck of panning. And then this one is brand new, of course, the Pure Lease. That is a serum BB cream with SPF 40. So I put it, well, basically what I did is like this bottom row are all like skin tints, but I call them foundations, like in my inventory numbers and in my tiny decisions app, they're all in the foundation category. I just split them up, I guess, for visual purposes. And I kind of like to see like how many of my foundations are actually more like tinted moisturizers. So that's why these are like in their own line. What else do I need to say? This is also new, the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I got that for Christmas. I asked for it actually, and my mom put it in my stocking. I actually picked it out at the store. She was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I really wanted to try that, so I picked that one out. So I haven't even used it yet. I'm actually waiting because I have a, I'm planning to do like a hyped up drugstore makeup video. So I'm keeping it until I have like everything I want for that video. This one I really like too, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I guess that is a foundation, but it's a serum foundation. So yeah. And I really like this Pure 4-in-1. And this is my Physician's Formula BB Cream. 
that is on its last legs, hopefully. This is was in my project pen last year and I just want to finish it because that's all I have left. But yeah, those are my 16, let's just say, foundations. For concealers, I, I, I was gonna say I only have 10, but that's still probably a lot. Um, this one I'm not putting down because it's my Tarte Aqua Sealer that's settled nicely so I can track it for my use up because I'm trying to finish this one. It's almost done as you can tell. That's where it stops so I'm just going to put that one here like that. Um, but yeah, and then I have a little Tarte Hydro sealer mini and then the rest are full size and i am counting my fenty um eye brightener as a concealer even though i don't really know how i'll use it yet i know when i tried it um when i first got it i did use it under concealer and it worked really well so we'll have to see but i'm just for the sake of being more simple. I'm going to call it a concealer. And then I've used all, no, that's not true. I've never used this pretty vulgar concealer before, so I don't know if I like it. And actually compared to my other ones, it looks like it's kind of deep for me. So we'll have to see if that ever gets rolled into a shop my stash or a project or anything. Um, I'll have to test that one out. Then this is my concealer, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. That's the concealer I use as a spot concealer. Um, and then this one I really like, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And then this Rose Ink one I've never tried. Well, I tried it in the store and I really liked it. That's why I bought it. But I haven't opened it yet. So yeah. That's my concealer collection. <laughs> I guess it's not too bad considering I have 27 primers and 16 foundations. But yeah, I don't feel like I need this many. So hopefully I'll start to understand which ones work best for me and then like declutter, pass on the ones that don't work. That's my plan for this year. So let's move on to the next category. So here is my bronzer category. On the top I have four um, mini size. I have a Bobbi Brown, a Tarte Seabreeze, I think it's called. My Fenty that's in my Shop My Stash. My Hula that's in my Deck of Panning. And then this one, I think it's a full size. It's just very small and it's unopened because I got it in my BoxyCharm recently. I don't know anything about that brand. It's Hana Lei and it's a matte bronzer. And then all of these are my full size powder bronzers. Um, nothing really to say about those. My butter bronzer was in my shop, my stash. I mean, my deck of no, <laughs> my project pan last year. So that's probably the one that has the most use on it. And then these bottom three are like cream slash liquids, I guess. My Fenty cream, uh, the Wet n Wild. It's actually, it says it's cushion contour, but I feel like the color is a bronzer on me. And then anyway, I would still put it in this category because it's like by itself, you know? And then this is the iconic London like liquid bronzer. I really like that. Yeah, so I have 13 bronzers. Yeah, 13 bronzers, which is a lot, but I don't know. I don't feel like I have that many bronzers compared to like blushes and highlighters. And I kind of like all of these. So, I mean, aside from the one that I don't know about, the Hanalei, I haven't tried it yet, but everything else I like and it's a good color on me. So the only way I see me getting rid of any of these is by using them. So yeah, that's my, 
my plan. I almost forgot about my powders. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know anything about most of them <laughs> because I've been really scared of powders in the past because I have such dry skin. But I may have mentioned in another video that lately I've been wanting to try some powders because I feel like there must be a powder out there that's good for dry skin that will just kind of perfect my makeup without like absorbing all the hydration which is a problem I have but so I'm on a quest but these are the ones in my collection the top row are all minis and the only one I've tried is this this Becca one, that's a mini of the Hydra Mist powder, the one that like feels cooling on the skin. I think I've tried this Laura Mercier translucent powder just because like everyone raves about it and I feel like I didn't like it, but I have to revisit it. And then this is the powder I've been working on for like years it seems, the Aveda loose powder. This one is a Ciate London Coconut Setting Powder, which sounds really nice. And then this was also in my everyday makeup drawer. This one is specifically an under eye setting powder, so I don't know if that's just a marketing thing or if it's like, if it means anything. I was using it for a while, but then I felt it didn't mix well with my Tarte Aqua Sealer and I'm trying to use that up so I stopped using that so really like none of these are <laughs> getting much use except for the Aveda one but yeah I still have eight powders and they're all loose powders I actually don't have any pressed powders in my collection I forgot I just got this loose setting powder in my BoxyCharm it's the OPV Beauty translucent setting powder it's brand new, so I don't know anything about it, but I actually have nine. Nine loose setting powders, which is a lot for someone that doesn't use them. Here are my blushes. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Like, I still don't know how I want to count this. Like, if I want to separate cream blush from powder blush. I don't really know yet. Maybe I'll decide that later. I did count them separately, just for my own, you know, tracking. And I have, well, in total I have 53 <laughs> blushes, which is very shocking to me. I think because I store my makeup so well, I don't realize how much <laughs> I actually have. Um, but yeah, I have 18 cream blushes and 35 powder blushes but these two are the Patrick Ta duos so see that's where I'm like how do I count it do I say it's a cream because there's a cream and a powder in each and then I also have face palettes which I'm not even counting right now so <laughs> I think to make it easier for myself let's just say I have 53 blushes and that's way too many Either way, like even if I say I have 18 cream blushes, that's still a lot. So yeah, but I do love blush <laughs> and yeah, I don't really know <laughs> what to say. So yeah, at first I thought, oh, I only have four drawers of blush and one is like this drawer here is all my creams together. Um, and those on the side are also cream, but they don't fit in the drawer. Um, so yeah, I thought it was like not too bad, but then I forgot all of these here because they're in another storage container. So yeah, <laughs> this one is a mini hourglass mood exposure that was in my project pen last year. And so that has a lot of use on it. This one, the Too Faced, Papa Dome Peach, that's probably like my oldest blush, at least one of my oldest. Um, and it's one of my favorites, so I'm not ever getting rid of that one. Um, what else here? These two NARS blushes are brand new. Um, one of them is Orgasm. I got it in a boxy charm. I used to have a mini, but 
when I got the big one, I gave the mini to my mom and I kept that one. And then I found Deep Throat as a, obviously a full size at Marshall's for like really good price. So I had to get it. <laughs> um, what else do I need to say about this? I don't know. You can see a lot of these are ColourPop, like these two from the Sailor Moon, these two from Hello Kitty, those two from Animal Crossing, and those six from the Secret Admirer collection. So obviously buying ColourPop collections is adding a lot of product <laughs> to my numbers. But I honestly could say like I love all of them, so I don't really know. I don't, like I'm kind of shocked at the number, but I'm not like unhappy about it because yeah, I really like blush. And um, a lot of these are some of my favorites. So, and the ones that aren't my favorite, I probably haven't used yet. So I don't even know if I like them. So we'll just have to, I don't know what to say. <laughs> But that's my blush inventory. Here are my highlighters. So same with my cream blush and powder blush. I just like, I put them all together, but they are separated in my storage. So in total, I have 36 highlighters. 11 of those are creams or liquids and 25 are powders. So, <laughs> this whole drawer here is the cream slash liquid plus these three minis. Those are also cream like stick highlighters. This one is just on its own because that's in my deck of panning so I keep it in my everyday makeup drawer. And then this is like my highlighter, my powder highlighter drawer other than those minis. I think this one is more contained. <laughs> I mean, compared to my blush, um, I had 53 blushes and 36 highlighters. So that's still a lot, obviously. <laughs> and some of these are like more than one shade, but I'm just counting them as one. Like if it's one package, it's one highlighter like this. Um, this kinder glow, there's actually four squares, like different shades in there. Um, and some of these are loose, like the Artist Couture, and there's a mini one of a different shade here. This is the Laura Mercier, um, you know, the face powder, but the, like, the glowy one. And everyone says that that powder is so glowy that it's basically a highlighter. So that's why I keep it in my highlighter drawer. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm considering that a highlighter. And um, this big one here under everything, that's the um, Soul Body Powder from the Secret Admirer collection. So I'm also counting that as a highlighter because I'm probably not gonna wear it as a body powder. So yeah, that's my highlighter category. A lot of these are unused because <laughs> I just haven't got to them yet. And um, I guess this one, is this my opal? No, that's Vanilla Quartz from Becca. So this is my opal. I'm not even gonna open it because if you guys didn't see like from my other videos, this will not focus. Um, this is cracked and like crumbled in the pan, but technically I, I kind of hit pan on it because it did crumble because I used it so much. Like there was kind of like a, like a dip where the crack was and then it just couldn't, you know, stay together because it's such a finely milled formula. So, that one's probably on its way out. But other than that, I have a lot of highlighters to go through, clearly. <laughs> and what's my newest one, just for fun? Well, this one, I don't even think I mentioned on my channel because this is another product I found at Marshalls for a really good price. And it's Double Glean, which is like the most popular shade. This and like, 
soft and gentle, I think it's called. So I grabbed that when I saw it. Um, yeah, everything else from like boxy charms or like Sephora favorites collections. This is one of my personal favorites, the Iconic London Illuminator. That's a liquid highlighter. I really like that one. And this little Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. That was in my project pan last year, which you may have seen. But yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say <laughs> because a lot of these, like I said, haven't even been used yet. Oh, and I do have the ABH Amrezy um, highlighter, which is like a cult favorite. It's honestly not my favorite, but I feel like I just have to keep it always. So, yeah, that's my highlighter category. For this category, which is my face palettes, it was a lot easier to just show you the drawer um, because there are already like... I kind of like how they <laughs> they are right now and I don't want to take them all out and put them back in. Um, so I hope you can see this okay. It's just, it's a weird angle. Um, I'm on the floor, so it goes like from back here to here. And then I have like a separate container of what I, I guess, categorize as mini face palettes. Um, yeah, so in total I have 33, so I have everything that's in this drawer, and then I have, I have seven <laughs> that were in my new makeup drawer. So this is a category I feel like is getting a little out of hand, and I, bl I blame it on BoxyCharm, <laughs> because they keep sending me face palettes. Well... Two of these I bought um, with my gift cards that I received for Christmas, which were the Patrick Ta, um, the blush palette, the Major Headlines blush palette. I have this, which is brand new, and the Natasha Denona Glam face palette. Um, this is the light one. Is that what they're called? Like. There's a light version and a dark version. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So those two I bought myself, but then all these other ones are from BoxyCharm. So I have a Alamar Cosmetics Hydrating Complexion Trio. This one is a lip and cheek cream palette, but I'm probably just going to use it as a cheek palette unless the formula is like really weird but there's three different shades in here but I'm counting it as a face palette and this one I just got on Thursday from my Boxy Lux. it's the iconic London multi-use sculpting palette this is all cream sculpting shades like highlighter not like shimmery highlighter like cream shade highlighter i have an ofra highlighter palette i'm considering it a face palette because there's bronzer in it also and there's six different pans and this one is a cab cosmetics contour palette so that's a lot considering <laughs> I don't feel like I reach for these unless I pull them in my Shop My Stash. And in my Tiny Tiny Decisions app, I do put them in their respective categories. Like this, for example, this Aether Beauty Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. I'm pretty sure I put that as either it could be pulled as a blush or a highlighter. So yeah. Some of these are just bronzers, some of them are highlighters, some of them are blushes, some of them are all mixed. So I just count them all as face palettes for the sake of my inventory. And yeah, 33 is a lot, I think. <laughs> we are starting to get into what I think is going to be <laughs> my craziest category, lip products. And what you see here is only lip balm. <laughs> 
So this is another category that didn't seem like I had a lot until I laid it out like this. So I'm a little scared. This category is kind of all mixed up because I have lip, um, like lip balms, tinted lip balms, lip oils, um, that one here is a lip mask. So I don't know. I just, let's just call them lip balms. <laughs> I don't know um, if I'll remember what I put in which category next time, but this is just making it easier for me. So yeah, all of the top row is full size lip balms. Um, these two are from Tarte. Those are like my favorite. Um, lip kind of treatment things. I actually have another one in my purse right now, which I will add to my inventory, but you don't see it here because I don't feel like getting it. <laughs> and honestly, it has like two or three, no, I was going to say two or three uses, but it's probably like two or three weeks because I, I don't know, but it's like almost to the bottom of the tube. Like I can't even get an even application, but I don't wear it every day. So that's why I'm saying it may be more weeks that it's here. So anyway, I have three of those. And then these are like mini sizes. This one on the end here is a Dior lip maximizer, but I wear it like a lip balm. So I'm putting it in this category. And then I have, these are both Laneige lip sleeping masks, one of them. This one here has already been opened and used, but I have another one. And I don't mind having a backup because I really like that product. Although I do have a full size in my bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just count that other one as skincare. So yeah, I have two of those. And then this one, the Bird's Bees, I just put aside because that's the lip balm I'm using right now. Um, in my everyday makeup drawer. And then these three here are tinted lip balms. And then these are lip oils. So just for like reference, I'm kind of splitting them, but I'm just going to count this all as lip balm products because if I'm going to wear a lip oil, like I'm not going to wear a lip balm also. You know what I mean? That's the story with those. And um, these two are clearly still in the box, but I have used this one. I'm wondering if I should start putting a lip balm category for my shop, my stash, because I feel like I'm never gonna get through all of these and I don't want them to go off before I have a chance to test them. Like I'm looking at this Kosas one. I have never even like swatched it or anything and it's getting kind of old. So yeah, I'm a little concerned. Um, this one, the cover girl, I just bought that like last week or something because I want to test some new drugstore makeup. So I'm not worried about that one, but yeah, the other ones, <laughs> these three, these the green, gold, and red. Those are um, Blistex, like the holiday set. I got it in my stocking for Christmas, so those aren't too old. But yeah, everything else I need to use. Um, this one here, that was in my deck of panning and I reached my, I actually went over my goal with that. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but Oh, I wanted to show you. So everything here fits in this container, which is why I thought like it wasn't too bad. <laughs> but when you lay it all out, I mean, that is a lot of product. So I actually didn't even count this before I started. Okay, so I what you see here is 36, but I put 37 because of that tart one that's in my purse. <sighs> yeah, so that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of rethinking because like I told you, this Bird's Bees one is in my everyday makeup drawer and up until now, I've been using up one lip balm at a time, but I think I should rotate. 
So I'm probably going to add this to my shop my stash category. Because I just want... I just want to get use out of these. Like some of them... Like those... These three... So, well, it doesn't focus when I put my hand there. But <laughs> those little mini ones... Three of them are the sugar lip treatments, which are really good and very expensive, like even the minis. So I want to get use out of those. We'll have to see. But anyway, that's my lip balm category. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing um, throughout these clips, but it's because this has taken me like... <laughs> many days to film I didn't realize like how much time it would take to pull everything out of my collection and you know place it nicely so that we can see the the volume of everything but anyway um, so this is my lip gloss collection and I have 87 lip glosses and I know that sounds like very extreme, but for some reason I was like, oh, this for sure is going to be like a hundred and something. So 87, I'm a bit surprised it's that low. And some of these, so like you see here, these are actually the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. I'm counting them as lip gloss because, I don't know, I just feel like they perform like lip gloss. And I also have these Tarte Juicy Lips and this Kaja Heart Melter. Those are like those click up kind of balmy products, but I feel like they look like lip gloss on the lips. So that's why I included them here. And some of these are lip oils, which gets confusing because I put lip oils in my lip balm category. <laughs> Like this one here, this Tarte Maracuya Glossy Lip Oil. I don't find that's a lip oil at all. It's really a gloss. It's very thick. So, yeah, and I think I have a Merit Lip Oil. Yes, this one here. That's a lip oil also, but I put it as a gloss because of the shade, I guess. Yeah, I guess let's just say that's what I'm doing. <laughs> And I also have lip plumpers in this category. And this up here, you can't really see, this pink square, that's a sample of Dior lip products. So I'm counting it as one because it's three shades, but it's just a sample. So that's one. So yeah, that's my story with these. And the, so these are all stored in drawers, obviously. Everything down here from this to here. Those are all in another storage container. And then these two are the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumpers. One of them I had bought myself when it first came out and it's been in my new makeup drawer ever since. And then I just got another shade in my Boxy Lux. So I'm actually really excited because I did try it before. I just put it back in the packaging, but I really like it. And these three are in my shop my stash. That's why they're separate because I just want to remember to put them back in my shop my stash. But yeah, those are my lip gloss, lip oils, lip plumpers. <laughs> but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just calling this lip gloss. And I have 87. So I forgot I had these. These are the... Um, ColourPop Sailor Moon Moonlight and Daylight Lip Bundles. There is one gloss in each of these, so I'm adding two. So I have 89 lip glosses. Okay, so these are my liquid lipsticks, but I have to <laughs> come on here and tell you that I forgot all of my Fenty glosses because they're in a different container. So I have to add six more products to my lip gloss category. And I do count the cream gloss, I mean, what are these called again? The cream gloss bomb, gloss bomb cream. Yeah, I count that as lip gloss also. 
So six more. So I actually have 95 lip glosses. <laughs> I was wondering why that number was so low. Anyway, still under 100. So for liquid lipsticks, which you see here, and this includes like liquid, like liquefied liquid lipsticks, like the ones that don't dry down, but that are super opaque. I would wear them like a liquid lipstick. Uh, I also have some like blotted lips in here, like those ones that have like a powder finish. And those are my two, oh, can you see? Can you see? These are my ColourPop bundles that have one blotted lip in each, so that's another two there. Uh, and yeah, I feel like 81 is a lot considering I don't really reach for liquid lipsticks, to be honest. At least not the kind that dry down. Like the, um, those like Stila and Ofra ones, or the Kat Von D, sorry, KVD ones. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I sense a declutter coming with this category, but obviously I haven't done it yet, so I have 81. And these four are in my Shop My Stash, which is why they're on the side here. And the other ones on the side are just because they're in different containers, but yeah. That's my liquid lipstick category, and hopefully I don't find more somewhere else. So here is a smaller category. These are my, I'm calling them lip crayons so that I don't get confused with lip liners. <laughs> so um, those two from the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection are still in the box because I haven't used them yet. <laughs> so I have six of those. Really, those are like tinted lip balms, but they're in a crayon form, so I'm calling them lip crayons. Uh, these two are from Marc Jacobs. Those are really like liquid lipsticks in a crayon form, like they dry down and wear for a really long time. I have two Clinique Chubby Sticks. These are all Bite Beauty. Then I have one Nude Sticks one Physician's Formula, and two mini NARS. So, yeah, that's my lip crayon collection. I feel like it's very small compared to everything else. So I have 18 lip crayons, which I'm okay with. It's still over 15, <laughs> because in my spreadsheet, I'm putting everything over 15 in red, and I think well, you'll see in a later video, but I, I think I'm doing like a category specific no buy and everything in red is going to be on my no buy list, I'm pretty sure. So you'll see more about that later, but yeah, lip crayons. Okay, I forgot one. <laughs> this is a mini tart. Um, lippy lingerie. I don't even think they make these anymore, but I found that. I found this because I realized I forgot a whole little section of more liquid lipsticks. <laughs> so these are just minis, but I have um, seven more liquid lipsticks in mini size. The Sephora uh, Bare Minerals. Yeah. And then these are the liquefied lipsticks from Bite that they don't make anymore. So yeah, another seven to the liquid lipstick category. Okay, next category in lip products is my bullet lipsticks. Um, but before that, I did find two more lip pencils, or what was I calling these? Lip crayons. The Hourglass um, Girl something. I don't remember. These were hiding with my lipstick bullets, but I mean, technically, I guess they're lipsticks in a crayon form. But I'm just going to call them lip crayons because I called that tart thing, which is in like the same packaging, a lip crayon. So there's two more lip crayons. So I'm at 21 lip crayons. So for lipsticks, what you see here, I'm at 93. And I'm honestly quite shocked that I have almost as many 
lipstick bullets as I do lip gloss. I have 95 lip glosses. So, yeah. I guess because a lot of them are minis. Like this whole row here are mini lipsticks. Um, and all of these in this container. I guess because they weren't taking up a lot of room. I thought I didn't have as many. But this is a lot considering I don't reach very frequently for bullet lipsticks anymore. I don't know. I sense a declutter in this category coming because a lot of these are super old. Like these Aveda ones here. I don't even want to know how old those are. And this one here, if you're wondering, that's a lip palette. There's six shades in it. It's a Smashbox lip palette. I'm counting it as one because it's one packaging. Everything here is from my new makeup drawer. I have a new... This one here, the Makeup by Mario, what are those called? Those new ones, the serum something or others. I'm really excited to try that. But yeah, I don't think I should be buying any more lipsticks. And this one on the side here is my Rare Beauty lip balm, but honestly it performs and looks like a lipstick, so it's in the lipstick category and it's in my Shot My Stash. Right now, that's why it's on the side. But yeah, these are all my bullet lipsticks. So we finally reached the last lip product category, which is my lip liners. I have 33 lip liners. That sounds like a lot when I say it, but I feel like, I don't know, I kind of work through all of these. That being said, I think I have like enough different variety that I don't need to buy anymore also. But I'm always looking for a really good like brown nude, which I'm not sure if I found the best one yet, but there are some good ones. So the ones that have the most use, like, well, those two are minis, so ignore those. But then those two um, after that are my Aveda ones that have the most use. But other than that, they're all pretty <laughs> full size still. And I do have five Bite Beauty lip liners. I believe they discontinued or like reformulated their lip liners. So those are the old ones. But I have those. And then those three are in my Shot My Stash. And I've been rotating um, pretty good. Well, at least between the Huda Beauty and the MAC one. The red one from Bobbi Brown, I don't get a lot of views out of because I don't wear red lipstick that often anymore. But yeah, those are my lip liners. Okay, we are on to the eye category or like section of my <laughs> makeup collection. Um, just to start with primer, I'll just show you that I only have these three here. I'm not concerned about this. Let's just zoom in a little. I'm not concerned about this category at all because this one from Urban Decay, I've had the longest and I'm using it consistently. I think it's probably like half empty. Um, and then I'll move on to this one that I got in a BoxyCharm, Angel Eyes. Um, this one, if I remember, it has kind of like a tint to it, so Hopefully I'll like it. And then this is actually the NYX Glitter Primer, which I'm putting in this category, but I wouldn't like use as an eyeshadow base, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if it happened that I used up these two, I would need to get another one because I wouldn't use the Glitter Primer, if that makes sense. So this category is fine. I actually had four. But I sold one on my Poshmark because I knew like by the time I would get to it, it would probably expire. So I sold one that I, another one that I got in a boxy charm. So I just have these left. Next category is shadow sticks. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so I have nine shadow sticks. This one I just bought from the new e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams, right? 
yeah, Cookies and Dreams collection. And that is the color of the stick, if you're wondering. It's like a nice denim blue. <laughs> I don't really get much use out of these, but they are in my my Tiny Decisions app as I, like single shadow. So it is possible I'll roll them into projects or my shop my stash. And those three I have never even opened. They were in a boxy charm, like a three pack. And those are glitter. They're called glitter pins. Let's just see. Glitter gel eye pins. So, I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued by these, but I just haven't had a reason to reach for them yet. So they're still all in the packaging. That's all I have to say about these. <laughs> Here are my single eyeshadows. So these, these include, you know, like potted shadows, liquid eyeshadows, basically anything that's in like a single packaging. Even these Kaja trios i'm just counting them as singles because they're so small and the same size as like a color pop super shock um but i also have this palette here these are the only singles that i have in my collection well sort of <laughs> i have a palette um that i took some of those out of so i'm not really counting that one because it's like a backup kind of thing since I only had room for nine pans. But some of those are Makeup Forever, some are Tarte, and some are Makeup Geek, the old formula. And then these two were in my new makeup drawer, so I don't know anything about them. One's from House Laboratories, and the other one is Ciate. Um, and then this one from Too Faced is a liquid shadow, a matte liquid shadow that I've really been wanting to try, so I put it in my shop, my stash, and then I didn't reach for it once, so it's still in there. But yeah, so in total I have 50 of these single shadows, which is a lot. They are in my eyeshadow palette category in my Tiny Decisions app, so if I roll, if I spin the wheel and it lands on a single shadow, like I count that as one of my palette options. So they do get rolled in, but I don't really reach for them if I if they're not in my shop my stash. And apparently even when they are in my shop my stash, so I don't know. <laughs> I probably shouldn't buy any more single shadows, but yeah, 50 of those. Next up is eyeliners. So in total I have 26. And I did separate them here from, like, the, these are liquid liners, and, ooh. <laughs> I did separate them, so these are liquid eyeliners, and these are, like, gel and pencil liners, but in total it's 26, but I do have eight liquid liners, and the rest are pencil. So, this category is, I mean, it's not that bad but for someone that doesn't wear eyeliner <laughs> that often it's a lot i'm especially concerned that a lot of these are probably dried up before i even have the chance to use them um this one here is actually a pencil and a liquid duo i haven't used it yet it was in my new makeup drawer um this one as well the Milk Kush eyeliner. Um, was in my new makeup drawer for a long time. And then this is my most recent one. You can't see my finger. This one. This is a Persona eyeliner. Um, yeah, that's my most recent one. It's a 24 hour waterproof pencil liner, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, these aren't really getting that much use. I do have two of them right now in my shop, my stash. This brown one from Pure, which I really like, and the one next to it from Trace Deek. It's just a black eyeliner, which I rarely use black eyeliner, but I don't know. I guess I should try it out. So yeah, those are my eyeliners. A lot of them are black. <laughs> 
and brown. These are my eyebrow products. I'm just putting everything in one eyebrow general category, but I have, you know, waxes, and pomades, pencils, powder. <laughs> I pretty much have every way possible I could want to do my brows, so I'm not really interested in adding anything more to this collection. These three down here are in my everyday makeup drawer, my Essence Make Me Brow, my Milk Brow Gel, and my Patrick Ta Brow Wax. The other ones have either never been used or not used much, except for my NYX. Um, lift and snatch, which I really like. I just put it away for for now. Yeah, I actually didn't know that I had this Gimme Brow Mini, so that means I won't have to even repurchase a fiber brow gel when I finish my Essence one, so that's good. So I think this should stay the same and it's not really a problematic category for me because sometimes I use three of these at the same time you know, so, um, but anyway, I have 14 brow products, which sounds like a lot now that I say the number, but I'm not too concerned about this category. These are my mascaras. I have 16. Um, these five here, which includes a lash primer, I only have one, so I'm just counting it as a mascara. Those five are currently open, so I am working through all of those and then all of these ones are new and not opened. I figure as long as I don't open them they should be good, right? I mean, I hope so. I hope they're not dried out. But yeah, so 16 mascaras. Clearly I don't need to buy any mascaras ever because I just keep getting these from BoxyCharms or from Sephora orders. So yeah don't see myself needing to repurchase a mascara. Although I am very interested in the new MAC mascara, but I guess I'll just have to wait. So yeah, 16 mascaras. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I didn't have <laughs> the strength or the will to pull them all out. So I'm just gonna show you my drawers. Um, I have 124 eyeshadow palettes. That is a bit crazy. So I have some in my new makeup drawer. I have a drawer down there that's just palettes. Over here, I have um, my mini palettes. And then I have another drawer underneath. Sorry for... <laughs> Oh, it's a mess. Um, yeah, the, this drawer is also full of palettes. I also counted the two palettes that are in my everyday makeup drawer. These two. I counted the palettes in my Shot My Stash and my Pan Those Eyeshadows palettes and the other ones that are on top of my vanity. And I have 124. <laughs> Total. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... I think I need to do a declutter, honestly, of my palette because, whoops, there is so many old ones that I don't even know if I like them. Uh, I don't know, but I do like eyeshadow palettes. And since they all fit nicely in this desk for the most part, I'm not really concerned about the quantity, but I probably should be. I do have more palettes in my Sephora cart for the VIB sale, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I should declutter before I consider buying any more. But yeah, 124 palettes in my collection. We have finally reached the last section of my makeup collection. I know I forgot things in other categories, so some of these numbers are going to be off by like just a few, so whatever. But it's the end, finally. This took me like two weeks to film. <laughs> so here are my setting sprays. I have 13 and I love setting spray, so I don't care 
that this number is high. Well, for one, this spray set go is almost empty. There's like three more uses in that. And then all of these from the Charlotte Tilbury on are minis, so I'm not really concerned. This Milani one is almost empty also. Um, and I did just get this new one in my Boxy Lux this month. But yeah, I, I don't care because I really like setting spray. I use it every time I do my makeup. And I have super dry skin, so yeah, I find it really does make a difference for me. At least if it's like a illuminating, hydrating setting spray. So yeah, I'm not concerned about this, but I do have 13. Wait, that's not true. <laughs> I just remembered I have three more MAC minis. Let me get those. I knew I was forgetting something because I have this... Um, trio of MAC Fix Pluses, which is like my favorite setting spray. Um, they're like different scents, like rose, lavender, and coconut. So I also have those. <laughs> so I have 16, but I still don't care. So 16 setting sprays. So that was my crazy makeup inventory. I'm a little shocked by some of the numbers. And I think this video will kind of lead into like a makeup rehab kind of series. That's like a series I've seen from other people on YouTube. Like it's just Steph and Emily and Max, two of my like favorite project panners and people that are just really, they focus on like how much makeup they have, but they also really like makeup, so I relate to them <laughs> in that sense. But they're always trying to like be more cautious about their purchases, I guess you would say. But yeah, maybe this will lead into that kind of series, or I also think I wanna do like a category specific no-buy, uh, especially since I just bought <laughs> A few things from the Sephora Spring Savings event but I think I won't be purchasing much more I was gonna say maybe if I have to replenish what am I gonna replenish I have 94 lip glosses <laughs> and some of these numbers were actually a little off because I forgot a lot of things I have makeup in like different places. Actually before filming this, I thought I was very organized, but apparently not because I have like a new makeup drawer. I have my shot, my stash. It's just things are everywhere. Although they look clean, um, it's a little messy. So <laughs> we'll see what this leads to, but I kind of just wanted to do this video for myself. like. Because I honestly didn't know some of these things were so crazy. Like my primers, 26 primers. Why do I have 26 primers? I have no idea. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Like numbers. Because I'm doing some project pans this year and I'm like tracking my skincare and things like that. So yeah, subscribe if you wanna see more and if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.